No, I think the thing is, Andrew, you are a straight talker. That right? audio was ridiculous. And that's one of the things I think so many people love about you. You say it absolutely as it is. And my fear is, if you say, real estate's dangerous, this is dangerous, that's dangerous, people will not know what to do, and they'll end up doing nothing, that's leaving true. their money in the bank. That's so true. Help All right. us out. Okay, that's true. Help now, us out. When I say real estate is dangerous, now, firstly, you can make money with real estate. You can make money with real estate. Okay. I'm not saying it's dangerous from that perspective. What I'm are you saying, about Andrew Tate? Personal ideology. You know, what are you personal saying? Ideology is I don't want to be within control of a government. I don't want a government to control me. If I didn't think that way, then I'd be a lot less opposed to real estate. I mean, a house is always going to be worth something. It ain't going to go to zero. You know, it's not like a risk, like a crypto yeah. uh, or a stock that can go to zero. A house will always be worth something. Fair point, my lad. Make a lot of money in it. I'm just at the position <laughs> where. I just don't want to have a government to have control of me. And this recent war proved it. Look at all these billionaire Russians who fair and square bought property in London by the law, paid their price, paid the stamp duty, stuck to the rules. Then the president of their country did something who they may not have even agreed with it. Who do they know? Do you agree with everything the prime minister does now? No. The, neither do I. And then the British government came along and just took all their houses off. Here's my stance. If you have gold, silver, anything, especially money in the bank, yeah. it can, if you go down the extreme levels enough, it can get taken. Oh, well, that's true. Nothing, nothing on this earth is freehold. Everything is leasehold. To a degree, there are certain things which can't be taken. Like, you won't give us one example, though, so it's hard to... There are, there are some... Oh, but you won't give us one example, though, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, Samuel Leeds, you seem a little passive-aggressive right now. That's just right now in this moment. But I know that you, you're trying to get an answer out of him, but it seems like you're too afraid to actually ask directly what you want from him. So you're pissed. You're getting a little annoyed, it seems like. But I could be wrong. I definitely probably am reading that wrong. You're probably just fat, and that's just how you... I mean, not fat. I mean, you probably... That's just probably what, how you... How you... Um, <sighs> taken well that's true nothing nothing on this earth is freehold everything is leasehold to a degree there are certain things which can't be taken like you won't give us one example though so it's hard to there are, there are some things that can't be taken. okay but i think that property yeah is one of the hardest things for them for anybody to take you can make a lot of i make a lot of money in property without owning it as well yeah by controlling it absolutely and also being a property entrepreneur i i can't say you don't make money in real estate and i'm also not saying i don't own any you do own property of course i do but I'm just saying that I don't feel comfortable. I don't go, ah, bought another house. Yes, you sleep easy. So, but I think when you truly understand- I mean, understand you know what I'm doing right now, flipping land and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, a few years ago, many people said to me, oh, real estate's risky. I've made millions in real estate. I bet you have. It's all I know. I bet you have. And through controlling it, flipping it, yep. trading it, owning it. Completely. And my properties are a lot are in my personal name. I've yep. got a lot in company as well now. Yep. I think we're in a pretty safe position. Now, if it gets so bad yeah. that they take away everybody's property and the world has ended and there's this massive plague and everybody's dead, you know what? I lived a pretty good life. No, completely. And I understand a lot of people will see me as paranoid and that's fine. But um, I know you can make a whole bunch of money, but the last thing, I, I'm currently in a situation where I don't need money. So I'm just trying to position myself in a way that I sleep the best as possible. Yeah. Night. And I don't, feel, I don't feel happy with money in the bank either. I don't. That's the worst. I, not because of even inflation. Like I, if, I lo if I load up my bank balance and it's $87 million, that doesn't make me feel comfortable. It makes me feel the opposite. Right, well, because then the one day you click on the app, sorry, contact customer service, and you're like, yeah. fuckers, yeah. you fucking, <laughs> like, that's the, they'll just do that shit to you. So it's like, I don't like money in my banks. I don't like money in a house. It's hard. I know it's hard. You're it's only difficult. insured up to the first 86,000 pounds. So if you've got a couple mail and then the bank goes bust, gone. It's town world. But, but I think there's a lot that can be done. Like, um, I'll give away one of the things I like to do. Only 86,000? That's pretty fucking small. Like, that's pretty minimal. So I like, I like per personally, I prefer the idea of digital real estate. Because digital real estate is not controlled by one government jurisdiction. And it can be owned by some obscure entity. So let me give you an example. Let's say I were to buy www.money.com. That's worth money. If I, I could put anything on there and generate money. So that's worth money. I'd pay a lot of money for it. Yeah. And let's say that was owned by a Singaporean trust. Boom. Yeah. I feel safer with that. Okay. Than a house. Okay. No, that's interesting. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Because now if anyone wants to find out who owns money.com, even though I've just said it here on this podcast, 
they're like, look it up, da da da. Mm. Some Singaporean trust. Okay, mm. contact the Singapore authorities. Who owns this trust? We can't tell you. Court injunction. <laughs> da, da, da 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 da. Years and years and years and years. Yeah. It's it's complicated, and I I feel like I own it more. Right. Than ours. See, it's interesting, and I th- uh, my attitude is you've got to invest in what you know. Yeah. If you've made a lot of money. You should invest in what you know. Oh, completely. I don't invest in certain stuff if I don't understand it. Completely. And even if people tell me, this is a great investment, this is a great coin, I'm thinking, I'm all, I'm all good, thanks, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to invest in what I understand. And if you understand digital assets, yeah. I mean, for me personally, I think owning a, a website or a link, would, for me, would feel more risky, because yeah. I can just see any minute, bang, can't open it. I'd rather own land where even if there's a war and the house gets knocked down, I've yeah. still got the land. There's I understand. a shortage of land. I understand. You know, I understand. That, but, I, but, and there's so many ways to skin a cat. And yeah. that's what's so beautiful about making money, right? And yeah. I, I completely understand that. My, my block is ideological. Not, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I know yeah. that a lot of money can be made. <laughs>